you guys can. You see the feet hanging out? Now, a lot of those males are chasing that female who is giving birth right now because she is kind of secreting oh a lot of those oil like glands wow, from that it's baby. Out of the back. Let's see. It's a long process. We might not be able to see them give birth. Oh, synchronized birthing. Birth. It was pretty good timing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one in the front, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, the one's running away. But we'll leave her alone. That's pretty unique, though. You get to see a string bug halfway in the process of giving birth. Pretty cool. The wacky rhino. Rhino. All right, now while we head down to East Africa, I'd like to give you a little bit of the history of the Wild Animal Park. It was back in the early 1960s that a vet down at the San Diego Zoo came up with the idea for the park. Dr. Charles Schroeder wanted a place large enough to house African animals for the sole purpose of a breeding facility. Now we opened to the public on May 10th, 1972, and when we, since we have done so, we've had on an average of 300 babies born every single year, and our total since then has skyrocketed beyond 20,000 animal babies born right here at the park. It's a romantic place. <laughs> now that is one of our photo caravans going next to us on the right. They are an additional program offer here. They go right in those exhibits as you can see. Well, can you guess what animal this is? If you guess the king of the jungle, you're correct. We are at Lion Camp here at Wild Animal Park, where our lions are sleeping right here at the window, so you can see them. Whole family is taking a nap. <laughs> Thank you.